Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to discuss about add the red value annotation in a spring framework. So add the red value annotation is used to inject the values of a field in a spring beam. So let's say that you want to inject some like field value to a particular field of a spring bean then you can use this add the red value annotation or let's say that you want to set a default value to a particular property of a spring bean then also you can use add the red value and let's say that you want to fetch some like value of that particular field from the property file from the environment variable from the system variables then you can use add the red value annotation so basically in the live project we mostly use add the red value annotation to set the value of a property of a spring bean through the property file so mostly we uh, set the values or we mm, means uh, set the key and the value pair into the properties file and we want that value from that particular key which is defined in the property file set to the property of a spring bean then you can use add the red value right so this annotation can be applied to the field of a class to a method and to the constructor parameter and it allow you to inject the values from the various sources like the property file like the environment variables from the system variables and from the other spring beans also okay so let's move to the project and directly see how we can use this add the red value annotation to your project to fetch the value from the property file and from the system variables and from the environment variables okay so already we have one project so let me directly create one package for you value with the value name and inside this value package i will create one java class let's say with the demo value annotation so this is the java class which i have just created and i want to mark this with component annotation so that i want that spring ioc container should handle the creation of this bean all right so let me create one field to this java class and let's say a name of this field as employee okay now i want to set some default value to this employee field so to set a default value we can use at the red value annotation so just you have to mark at the red value annotation in the above of this field and then you can give a default value anything you can give your name or anything to this then it will set this string to this employee field all right so yeah so you have to use at the red value and then you have to provide the name or the string in the parameter of this value annotation so this default value will set for this employee field now let's create uh, the getter method to access this field okay so we are going to access this uh, the field value the employee field value inside our main class okay so in this already we have some code let me comment it out and we have a context right so context contained the bean of the every component classes which the ioc controller has so let me use the context to and here we have a get bean method which will provide the bean of this particular class so let me put the name of this class and here uh, let me create a demo value annotation with the reference variable as a demo value annotation so basically this demo value annotation contained the instance of this bean demo value annotation class all right so with this demo value annotation we have a getter method get employee so get employee method will fetch the value for that employee field from this class all right so let's run this and let's check the output okay so first of all i need to provide the system.out.println in to check this so just i'm adding system.out.println in and then i will run this class and let's check the output so this is uh, we'll call the getter method and the getter method will return the employee and the employee yeah so here you can see that 
we are able to print out Asis Bhagat. It means that the, it means the name. It means that for the employee field, the default value is set with the Asis Bhagat. Yeah. So if you want to set any default value to any particular field, then you can use add the red value and then you can pass as a string the default value. Right. Now let's check how we can access or fetch the values from the property file. So basically in Spring uh, Boot, we know that inside resource folder we have a application.properties file and this application.properties file will be accessed by the spring container automatically so you don't need to define anything path or anything extra to fetch this file okay so like container will uh, automatically fetch uh, the values from this file right so only okay so let's say that i want to define some key and the value for this let's say url uh, let's say i am defining some db dot uh, uh, url all right and in this uh, let's give some name uh, to this class uh, means to this field uh, let's say uh, jdbc x admin and port number 8080 yeah so this is the one key db.url and this is the value so similar manner let me create uh, one more username let's give the username as with some value similar manner one more property i will create with the key db.password uh, equals to and the value password all right so this uh, so this content you can see so so yeah so in the property file this is the key db.url db.username db.password and the value are this now i want that these i want to fetch the key value of this to my uh, java bean class so how to do this let's see this so let me uh, define one like variable uh, let's say a db url all right and if you want to access then you can use the value annotation and in the double quote and then a dollar sign and then curly braces you have to open and inside the curly braces you have to put the key so let me copy this key from here to the property file to my bean class and then and then uh, yeah so this uh, annotation at the value db dot url will fetch the fetch the value of this key from the property file application dot property file all right and then it will store to this field db url right so similar manner uh, let me fetch the others uh, value also db username so in the similar manner to get the value from the property file for this db username field you can assign it that value and then you have to put double quotation and then dollar and then curly bracket you have to open and close and inside this you need to put the key for which you want to fetch so just add this in this way you will fetch the username and it will get stored to this field so, so, so in the similar manner let me use db password so let me copy and paste this annotation and only now you need to change the key for which you want to fetch yeah and now you can save it right so here are the three fields db username db uh, url db password so these fields i am setting the value to this field by fetching the value from the application or property file by using add the red value annotation and yeah and like this is the syntax to fetch now let me create uh, the getter method so that i can access the values to the other bean classes yeah so these are the getter method of these three field let's go to the main class in here 
we are already put at some SOP. Let me use this to uh, first, yeah, so getter method get db URL will fetch the URL. Okay, get db username will fetch the username. Get password method will fetch the password and then it will display here. Okay, so let me run and check the output. And here we are using SOP to print all these values in our main class. So basically it should fetch the value and display in the console. And here you can see in the uh, in the bean we are already defined this right. So yeah so here you can see that first, uh, first it fetch the db url. So db url is this value which we have defined in application.properties file right and then it fetch the username assets and then the password as a password value right yeah so in this way you have seen how we can fetch any like key value from the property file to your spring bean class all right yeah so this is the process and this you have to use at their value now we can also fetch the value of the system variable and the environment variable into your spring bean class so for that also similarly we can use at the red value annotation so let's see this so let me create one more field uh, environment uh, mm, let's say something with the name environment variable all right so similar manner you have to use at the red value annotation and then in this you have to provide the name uh, for which you want to pass so double quotation dollar curly bracket open close and inside this you need to put the environment variable key which you have already stored in the environment variable so in my system I have Java dot home alright so this should uh, fetch the environment variable value of key java.home and it and it should store to this field environment variable right so let me show you to fetch uh, from the system variable uh, let's say system variable and similar manner you have to use add the red value notation and then double quote and then uh, dollar and then uh, curly braces open close and then here you need to define the key okay so in my system I have a user dot home all right and now you need to create the getter method for these two fields for the environment and for the system so select this okay so I have created two um, the two uh, the getter method so let me go to the main class and similar manner let me put SOP and get the environment variable and also get the system variable right and now uh, let's see what we will get the output so let me start my uh, main class yeah, so it is taking some time to restart but yeah but you can see the output so you have to see the last two outputs okay get environment variable and system variable yeah output is rendering now you will see yeah now you can see I am getting the environment variable as C program files Java and JDK 17 so in this like my uh, in this path my like Java is installed okay I'm using Java 17 and and you can see that system variable user.home it contained uh, the C drive and AS Bhagat is my name of the system right yeah so so like in this manner you have seen how we can fetch the values from the different different sources to your spring bean class by using at the rate value annotation thank you